Well, the reason that a lot of people in the minority community are moving toward Trump is because he's not a traditional politician who just has his finger in the air seeing which way the wind is blowing. You know, when he says he's going to do something, he does it. And you never have to wonder about what he's thinking. He's, he's an open book. He's very clear. And he's got a record. People have seen what he's done. You know, with, uh, with HBCUs, with uh, Opportunity Zones, um, you know, with uh, prison reform. Uh, he, he, he walks the walk and he talks the talk. And it makes a difference. And I think it's going to continue to draw people, not just in the African American community, but in all communities, uh, to him. I've watched a most interesting thing happen this cycle, which is people really like, well, you're a Marylander, uh, like crabs in a bucket uh, trying to get to be Donald Trump's running mate, right? We've, we've seen people working hard to do it. And here you are, shortlisted, by not seemingly trying to do it at all. Uh, it doesn't seem like you've been auditioning. It doesn't seem like you've done any of that stuff. Now, you've said you haven't talked to Trump about being his running mate. Is that still true? Uh, yes, that's still true. And, and what's even truer is that I'm still out here doing things rather than retiring and playing golf and cruising around the world, which was my intention. I was going to say, that sounds OK. <laughs> because I can't have any fun watching my country go down the tubes. And uh, you know, Donald Trump is exactly the same. He was already as famous as anybody can be. He had a ton of money. He really didn't need to do this. And I remember in an interview with Oprah about 30 years ago, she said, Donald, would you ever run for president? And he said, no, I would never get into that unless the country was going off the cliff. And it was going off the cliff. And it still is going off the cliff. So you, so you would be, if, if he asked, you'd do? He, you, would, you would do it if he asked you to do it? I would uh, prayerfully consider doing that uh, and asking God what is the best role for me in trying to save our country and to bring us back. Uh, now, what have you heard from Donald Trump that makes you confident, or less confident, I don't know, but more confident that we can avoid an event like January 6th a second time around. So what, what have you heard that makes you more confident that in January 2025 we're not going to be in the same situation we were in January 2021? Well, remember, in the January 2021 20, situation, uh, there was the real potential for violence and problems, the kind of people who were gathering there. Most of them were peaceful. But you had some agitators. And you knew they were going to be agitators. And you knew there was going to be a huge crowd. And you knew there was potential for violence. The problem was not Donald Trump. The problem was Nancy Pelosi, who, and the mayor of the city, who did not take advantage of having the appropriate measures in place. And that's no, the, the, no doubt that more could have been done there. But the, the, the precursor was the, um, the claim of the stolen election and, all, and, and that part, and trying to disrupt, maybe peacefully for most of them, but trying to disrupt co the Congress certifying the results of the election, right? Well, certainly you never want that situation to occur again. And I think that those lessons have been learned uh, by both sides. But, uh, you know, I vehemently uh, disagree that it was Donald Trump's fault. Donald Trump clearly said, let's march peacefully and orderly and make our protest. And there's no question that is well recorded. Now, you don't hear that very often uh, when the other side reports on it. They, they never talk about the fact that he said peacefully. I can't let you go without asking one rankly political question. You're a Marylander. 
Larry Hogan running for Senate in Maryland. Are you backing him? Do you think he's got a decent chance in Maryland? Well, you know, I, I know Larry uh, well. Uh, he's a decent uh, human being. And uh, I hope he's successful. You hope he's successful. All right, well, we thank you, Dr. Carson. All right. Have a great day. Absolutely. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.